We're in Bradenton, Siesta Key, and Hudson, reporters all over our area. We begin, though, with 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido. She is in Ybor City tonight for us. Angie, what are you seeing there? Well, we all know how lively a night in Ybor City can be, but tonight it is pretty desolate in Ybor City. Just a few cars passing by and people walking around, and that's because these businesses are closed. Take a look over my shoulder. You're going to see that these businesses are boarded up, and the preparations ahead of Hurricane Milton stretch far across the city. In the middle of historic Ybor City, these guys on these. I'm not bored of anything in my life. <laughs> yeah. Businesses prepare for the unknown. Seems to be like one of the fastest growing storms. But this time feels different. They're suspecting like 10 to 12 foot storm surge, they say. I'm like, eh, that's all terrifying. But <laughs> That's why James Langer is protecting his tattoo shop. I put these on, there's glass windows behind that. And he isn't the only one. And I don't suspect, fingers crossed, the water will go too high in this area. But the preparations don't stop there. About 10 minutes away on Davis Island, crews are literally picking up trash piles from the sides of people's homes in preparation for Hurricane Milton. You know, we're glad to see him. The guys are working super hard. Jeff Polk wrote out Hurricane Helene at home less than two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He captured his neighbor's Tesla on fire during the storm. It was unbelievable. It burned for two hours in three foot of water, which was shocking to see. It was kind of almost too much to hear that there was another storm coming. Like most in the neighborhood, he's evacuating, hoping Milton won't make a direct hit. I would tell it to die, like get, get out of here. Um, you know, hopefully it, it turns way south. Now, Davis Island's expected to get a significant amount of water here in Ybor City. They are just outside of evacuation zone A and B, so people that are here should be okay. But again, these businesses heeding the precaution and making sure that they're boarded up and prepared for anything they could see from Hurricane Milton. We're live in Ybor City. Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.